announce that the GSMA Development Fund, MTC and Motorola are starting a pilot together in Namibia around wind and solar power to power base stations in remote off-grid locations. The parties involved are the operator MTC themselves who are providing the base station and, and in whose network we're doing the trial. The GSMA Association who are bringing project management expertise and Motorola brings all the learnings we've had from our trial site here in Swindon. The trial we're now conducting in Namibia will last for three to four months. It'll really show us how well a wind and solar solution will work in a live network. Okay, so working together, the three parties are starting a pilot project which will um, install and then run and evaluate the success of using wind and solar power to power base stations. Um, the base station will be up and running in the next couple of months and thereafter we will be running our evaluations um, with a view to scaling up um, commercially thereafter. This base station is near a community called Dordarbis. It's about 100 kilometres from Windhoek and it also provides coverage for the local rural environment as well. This is the future that everybody is talking about. The Knowledge Society is here and we believe all our citizens, be they in rural or urban settings, need to enjoy the same privileges. And MTC's, um, MTC is rolling out to all the countries, I mean all the corners of this country, as vast as it is, um, so that everybody is part of this broader knowledge society. And from that perspective, this rollout makes sense. The trial is very important to the GSMA because we're very focused as a development fund on connecting the unconnected and we see the current um, challenges for off-grid locations as needing addressing. So where base stations are, communities are based off the grid, it's very difficult to bring GSM connectivity to them and therefore we're looking to alternative energies to provide that. We're very excited about this announcement to be doing this trial as the first operator and we hope many more will follow us soon. Governments want operators to improve their environmental impact, to reduce their carbon footprint, and as well, the operators themselves may well want to trade their carbon credits. Working with local universities, we wanted to investigate further the possibility of using renewable energy for powering remote base station networks, as we had seen an increasing trend of emerging market rollout into rural areas where getting stable power connections is a real challenge. As we got further into the research, we realised that developed markets have similar issues for remote sites. These solutions will be required by any technology rolling out into remote locations. This would include UMTS or 3G, and into the future, LTE as well. Also, CDMA or WiMAX, and secure networks such as Tetra.